Welcome back, guys. This is Gaming with Austin. This is episode 91 of the Utopian Community series. Here we are. I'm going to try to add more wood. And I'll just keep adding more and more wood along the way. When I run out of wood... I'm, at, uh, I'm almost out of wood. I'm gonna go to my... I'm gonna go to my tree farm. To gather more wood. This is a tree farm. This is my jungle farm. Three, two, one. Jump, jump, and jump. I'm gonna get it as much what it uh, take as much as I need. I'll be taking as much wood as I need. I forgot about that piece of wood on top. Should be good. I'm 
Gather as much wood as you need. Das ist ein Pferd. Nächster. Nächster zu mich. One thing we could talk about. Mm. The topics I like to talk about in my videos. Some of it's about Germany. Some of it's related to uh, German culture. German on I'm actually German on both sides of my family. The reason I'm gonna gather as much wood as I made Once I start summoning my Elytra, in future episodes, I'd be able to fly like Icarus. Fly away like an eagle. The song Holy Wars by Megadeth does have a, a bit of galloping. It has a sort of a gallopy feel. Good thing I didn't die. Because if I did, that would suck.
Good thing there are those ladders. Like those vine ladders. I could use. <laughs> Tell me. Uh, Tell me news tends to have some. <laughs> make. Twist their news to make it hilarious. They tend to make their news pretty comedic. Like, sometimes they use play on words. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. The reason why, the true reason why millennials want a higher wage, it's not because they're self-entitled, but it's because they are screwed. The truth is, the high-paying jobs we have now, <coughs> will ultimately end up going extinct. And Metalocalypse... <laughs> since... Excuse me. And since it's a TV show or, uh, centered around a death metal band, instead of the high frequency noise, like at a kilohertz, makes guitar noises. Distorted guitar noises. When people use profanity and metalocalypse. <laughs> Which is actually pretty funny. You know, since it's a TV show centered around a death metal band. <laughs> Melodic death metal. Just popping my knuckles, it's all good. Like, when Nathan Explosion said, what the fuck, in one of the episodes of Death Clock, instead of dropping the F-bomb, like, instead of hearing the, him say the F-word, it was replaced by distorted guitar -er sounds. Oops.
let's talk about censorship. The problem with censorship... We should only censor certain things. But not everything. One thing we should censor... Any books that contain... And Nazi propaganda. Because I've compared the prisoners to the slaves of the South before the Civil War. Slavery is just wrong on so many levels. An example of modern day wage slavery. Basically, they rent. Like, the ones working. The big companies who are supplied by those farms. They rent those slaves. Walmart employees are oftentimes treated like slaves, which is pretty bad. There's nothing free about a free market. When there's a free market, people are not as free under a free market. Because under a free market, <coughs> insurance companies have the right to decline cover, deny co uh, decline coverage. Hospitals have the right to price gouge drugs. This is the greed that's going on as a result of This is the greed that's going on as a result of capitalism. It's time for capitalism to end. Bring in a new economic order. Bring in a new economic order based on the principles of Bernie Sanders, Karl Marx, Friedrich Engels, I know this may be an indirect reference to communism, and some people out there are anti-communists. You could be who you want to be. The Red Scare was in violation of the First Amendment. Mm. The Red Scare was actually in violation of the First Amendment. Which is why we should have we Americans should have thought twice before doing that. In the Red Scare, it wasn't that the leftists betrayed America. America was the one who betrayed the leftists. <laughs> like in the Red Scare, millions of innocent people were arrested.
And I'm like, the communist rulers. Unlike the communist countries of the Eastern Bloc, the social my uh, communist our con uh, our communist country would be more democratic. Like people, everybody would have the right one person, one vote. Your vote can make a difference. I believe people ha should have the right to sh share their opinions. Mm. People should have the right to share opinions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unlike the Eastern Bloc, the, the Northern Bloc would never deny any genocide. In fact, they'd learn from it to make sure something like that never happens again. The Holodomer was something that Stalin did. Stalin himself was a relent—he was a rental—he bullied Trotsky a lot. He bullied Trotsky. Stalin was a big, big mean bully. Because Stalin was was wanting to turn Russia from an oligarchy to an autocracy. Which is something none of us would like. But when Stalin died, Khrushchev took over. Then brought Russia back to oligarchy in the form of collective leadership. Which was the good news for most of the people that were sent to the gulags. Unlike the Eastern Bloc with Stalin, I am against Stalin's policies. Because he caused so much harm. How am I going to encourage people to move to the country? I'd make application for a green card. Simple as fuck. I'd make it simple as fuck. How is Chan able to survive? How is communism able to survive after the fall of the Soviet Union? One example of communism surviving after the fall of the USSR is the Fourth and Fifth International. Trotsky. If it wasn't for Stalin, Trotsky would have taken over as the general secretary after Lenin died. But Stalin said, fuck no. Which is what turned... Uh, he was the one that turned communism evil. Uh, Khrushchev was the one who made communism great again. Mm-mm. <laughs> 
Here I am! Stalin turned Russia from an oligarchy to a autocracy. Hitler turned Germany from a democracy straight to a dictatorship. Why would he do that? For one, he hated democracy. If Hitler would have won World War Two, Condon Libas don't design. Neue Deutsche Hertha. Before, and in the 1930s, the worst place to live was probably, like in the mid-1930s, the, one of the worst places to live was Nazi Germany. For one, If the Nazis won World War II, Stalin would have still been our enemy, even if the Nazis won World War II. Because of his human rights record. And his crimes against humanity. My opinion, <laughs> one of the reasons why communism is not as hated as fascism. Fascism is based on greed, hatred. And, br uh, and total obedience. Communism is based on equality. And in a truly vegan world. Like, one of my end goals would be to make things better for everybody. Satisfy everybody's needs. Mm. 
That's our main goal. society. The only elections there would be would be elections held purely for show. They would hold sham elections. Why I say sham elections? Because the elections in totalitarian countries like North Korea are a sham. They really are not elections. They hold those sham elections to know, um, check the whereabouts of their people. To make sure none of them have defected. An example of a country that held sham elections is Nazi Germany. Nazi Germany was really evil. The dictator of Nazi Germany, he was a racist asshole. Then <laughs> Stalin, one reason to go against him, he was an anti Semitic piece of shit. He was an anti Semitic jerk. But Khrushchev did a better job as le uh, the, uh, the leader of the Soviet Union. Mm. 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 If I ended up ruling Russia, I would have gone towards complete denuclearization. Going towards Trotskyization. And I already finished with that cocoa oh, farm. All I have to do is expand those cocoa beans, which I'll do next episode. As always, thank you for watching, stay tuned for more, leave a like if you liked this video, dislike if you disliked it, subs if you loved it, share this with your friends on social media, share this with your comrades on social media. As always, stay tuned for more, and last but not least, peace out.